Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you my TBR for the Smutathon Readathon. Very excited about this. Smutathon is hosted by two lovely ladies here on BookTube, Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey and Riley from Riley Marie, who created this readathon that's all about celebrating the adult romance smut sexy genre. I have been in the mood like dying to read romance books for like the last several weeks now and I've been saving all the ones that I want to read for this particular readathon and now is finally the chance for me to do it. I'm just I'm really really excited. Smutathon runs from December 10th at midnight wherever you live which is a Monday to Sunday December 16th at 11 59 PM. There are also seven different reading challenges that you can choose to participate in if you would like to. And I'm going to go through those now and then tell you which books I am using for each of those challenges. All the challenges are based on romance tropes. I'm actually not hitting every single challenge. So the first challenge is Enemies to Lovers, which is, if you've been around here for a while, know that that is my absolute favorite romance trope. I love a good enemies to lovers story. For this one, I will be reading Hate to Want You by Alicia R Ray? Alicia Ray? Alicia Rye? This is a book that I got on recommendation from Riley. Both Riley and Lainey posted recommendation videos for the different topics challenges of this readathon. So if you need recommendations, they do both have recommendation videos. I'll link them down below for you. I don't know a whole lot about any of these books to just be honest. Do you know that this one is about two people who like once a year would get together and hook up, but then one year the main girl doesn't show up and then they never see each other again and then down the line they run into each other again, but like they hate each other now. I'm so excited to read this. I think it's going to be steamy and hateful and I'm so excited. Sexual tension, my favorite thing to read about. Second challenge is friends with benefits. So for this challenge, I'm going to be reading Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. I love Christina Lauren. They're one of my favorite writing duos. I've read their entire Wild Seasons series and loved it. I've read Roomies and loved it. My mom's read this and she said it was really good. So I have high hopes that this is going to be a great, great, I'm just so excited about all these books, okay? This one, Being Friends with Benefits, I know it's about these two people who constantly set each other up on blind dates and they go like on double dates together. However, every double date with their blind dates ends up them going home together. Probably just, you know, refusing to admit their love for one another because that sounds like something that's going to happen. I have a visitor now. You wanna say hi? Say hi, Libby. She's so fat, guys. She's so fat. She just really likes food. Can't even fit my hands around her midsection. She kind of looks like she's followed a barrel. Challenge number three is fake relationship. And this can kind of encompass any realm of that, whether it be fake dating, fake marriage, arraigned marriage, marriage for convenience, anything of the sort. And for this one, I didn't notice that when I was picking books, I actually had two books that fell into this category. First one for this category is The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare. This is another recommendation from Riley from her video. This is a historical fiction novel and the main female character is hired to create a wedding dress for this local duke. However, the duke's wedding ends up being called off so nobody comes to pay for the dress. Puts the dress on, goes up to the manor house and demands payment for her dress. The guy is like, dude, I really need a wife. I really need to have an heir. Offers to marry this woman. Riley talks very highly of Tessa Dare and says such great things about her books. I've never read a Tessa Dare book, so I'm pretty darn excited for this one. Plus, like, it sounds like a little bit of like a hate to love situation too, which is always a favorite thing. The other one on my list for this challenge is The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. This is a story about a woman with Asperger's who doesn't really understand the complexities and the intricacies of dating. So she hires a male escort to teach her how to be more socially inclined. And I'm sure that that is just a whole lot of hilarity. This book has been getting great buzz this year. I've heard nothing but incredible things about it since it came out and I've been really excited to read it. The next challenge, challenge number four, is a slow burn romance. I don't have anything on my TBR for this. And then the fifth challenge is a forbidden romance. Another great one, but I don't really have anything on my TBR that I want to read that I know is a forbidden romance. And then challenge number six is different worlds. Lainey 
from Ginger Reads Laney and Kayla from Book of Doodles desperately want me to read Transcendence by Shay Savage. It's like a prehistoric romance. This girl somehow gets transported back to the prehistoric era. She meets this caveman. He can't understand language and the book is told from his perspective so there's no dialogue and like they can't communicate so they're obviously from very different worlds. They've like threatened to not be my friend anymore until I read this book. So when a friend asks you to read a book like 800 times you should maybe just read the book. And then the seventh challenge was a voter choice and people voted for one night stand. I think that's what I voted for. It was like office romance road trip and one night stand and One Night Stand is the one that won. I have another Christina Lauren book for this category as well. I'm not actually sure if this is a One Night Stand because the synopsis doesn't imply that's a One Night Stand, but the title does. So this might actually not even fit this challenge, but it is their brand new release, my favorite Half Night Stand. I don't know if this is really gonna fit this challenge. I do really wanna read this. I don't really know the plot for this one to like give you a synopsis. And then the last book is just a romance book that I have on my shelves that I haven't gotten to yet that I purchased earlier this year, which I don't know if it's gonna fit any challenge, but I wanna read it. And that is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. It's the only Colleen Hoover book that I own that I haven't yet read. So this one takes place between a married couple who are having marital problems. There is a past and present timeline, which is always one of my favorite things. I have a feeling based on what I've heard about this book from other people that this is going to be a book that hits very close to home and will probably make me sob. I'm reading it off for a while because sometimes Colleen Hoover's books are a little too emotional for me. I'm ready for it. I'm kind of in that mood where I'm ready to be emotional. So these are the books that I have on my TBR for Smutathon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I will talk to you very soon. Bye!